Today we're going to check out the Core Innovations over-the-air digital TV converter box and DVR. This is a budget-friendly digital converter box with DVR function that you can connect to your over-the-air TV antenna and watch over-the-air programs as well as record live TV. And out of the box you get the digital converter box, the remote control, some batteries, a set of AV cables. These will not give you an HD picture though. We'll talk more about that in a minute. And also the user manual. Not too bad for $45. I get lots of comments from viewers saying that their converter box overheats. Well, the big reason why is because there's a very thin, almost invisible layer of plastic on these things when they leave the factory. You got to take a minute and peel that off because that plastic blocks these vents on the top and sides to let the unit breathe. That'll probably keep it a lot cooler and help it to last a lot longer. So take a minute and get that plastic off of there. All right, got most of that plastic off there except for this little front edge here. I'll have to get that off later. Looking at the back of the unit, there's a few connection options which are common on most digital converter boxes. The first thing is the RF in is where your antenna will connect to. Don't put it in the RF out by mistake, it goes here. The RF out is used to connect this to an older CRT tube style, box style TV that you can modulate to channel three or four. If you're using a modern flat screen TV, you're not gonna use that though. These are also for connecting this converter box to an older CRT that has RCA composite video jacks yellow is your video and red and white are your audio again you're not going to use that probably if you're connecting this to a newer television you're probably going to use the HDMI out and that will retain the HD picture the cables that are included with this converter box connect to here but again that won't give you an HD picture only use these if you're connecting this to an older box style CRT television. You can see that the front of the converter box is identical to the older Imatic digital converter box. Identical. Chassis looks exactly the same in fact. Not a surprise, most of these converter boxes use the same software interface even if they don't use the exact same chassis. They're pretty much all the same across the board. If you want to check out a review of this Imatic model, then look in the description of this video. I'll put a link there for it. We'll switch it on. Here's the boot up screen. When you first plug it in and turn it on for the first time, this is the screen you're gonna see. And to get any channels, you have to run a channel scan. Make sure that your antenna is plugged into the RF in on the back of the converter box. And with digital television, channels must be scanned in. It's not like the days of analog TV, where you can just connect your rabbit ears and turn to a channel, and there it is. Digital channels have to be scanned into a converter box or a TV. That's uh, sort of the way of loading all of the available channels in the tuner before you can watch them. So we're going to use English as our language. I live in Canada. My antenna is connected, so we'll press channel search. Now you'll see I only get three over the air channels in my area. You'll probably get a lot more. I just get three local stations here, CKPR and CHFD on RF channels two and four. And then on RF channel nine, TV Ontario or TVO. And that's all I will get. Now the Channel search will continue here all the way up, but I'm going to go ahead and just press exit and stop it because I don't have any more channels, but this will scan all the way through and stop on its own. And when it's done, you'll see a little happy face that looks like this. Now, once the channel scan is complete, pressing the EPG button on the remote control brings up the electronic program guide. And this is like an on-screen schedule of upcoming programming for a given channel. You can use the up and down arrow keys to scroll through the listings and get more information on the programs. 
or if you want to look at the EPG for a different channel, use the right and left arrow keys to switch channels. And usually it takes a second to load. And the EPG information included with the channel is really subject to availability. Some stations don't include any of this information with their broadcast signal. My two local stations do a pretty good job giving a schedule as well as some information about the programs that they offer. But other stations like this one here, for example, Channel 9 TVO, doesn't give any information at all, not even a schedule. So it really is subject to availability, depends on the information that the broadcaster includes with their signal. And another common feature on digital converter boxes sold nowadays is this signal strength meter. If you press the info button twice on the remote control, this comes up on the screen. You can use this meter to adjust your antenna, try to get that percentage as high as you can and give yourself the best possible TV reception. This converter box also has a DVR recording function. It's kind of like the modern day VCR except you're not using cassette tapes to record onto, you're using a USB drive. Once you plug your USB drive into the front of the converter box, you're gonna go into the main menu to the USB menu here. And you, there's one very important step you have to do. You have to format the USB drive to ensure you don't have any problems recording programs. So you'll go down to the PVR configure option here, press okay and then select format. And once you press format, the USB will format. And it only takes a few seconds and it basically conditions the USB so it's ready to record over the air programs. Now, one thing you should be aware of here is that when you format your USB drive, any other content other than over the air recordings made by your digital converter box will probably be erased so if you have any photos or personal videos or other files on here, you don't want to erase to make sure they're backed up somewhere else or better yet, just buy yourself a brand new USB drive to use exclusively for over the air recordings. They're not very expensive these days anyways. And once your USB drive is formatted, recording a TV program is as easy as using a VCR back in the old days, except instead of popping in a cassette tape, just make sure that your USB drive is installed in the front slot of your converter box and then select the channel you wish to record. Now press the record button on the remote control and a message will appear on screen confirming that recording has started and there will also be a timer visible in the top left corner of the screen. When you want to stop recording, simply press the stop button on the remote control and then a prompt on screen will ask you to press OK to confirm you want recording to stop. And that's it. You've recorded your program. Now you can also schedule recordings from your electronic program guide. All you have to do is use your remote to scroll down, choose a program you want to record. We'll just pick the local news here. Now one line you want to pay attention to here is the repeat line. Do you want to record it one time? Do you want it recorded at the same time every day? Do you want it recorded weekly? We'll just pick once and then press OK to confirm that. And now it's added to my recording schedule. Now if you look at the bottom of the screen, you can see those numbers, one, two, three. Let's pretend that I change my mind and I want to record this every day. If I press the number two key on the remote, that lets me edit my recording setup here. So I can go down here and change this to daily and then press OK again. And now the recording frequency is changed to daily. Now, if you change your mind and don't want to record a program at all, just press number three. That's the delete, the delete key and then press OK. And that program gets removed from the schedule altogether. The quickest way to find your recordings is to press the USB button on the remote control. It brings you right to the PVR menu. You can see the PVR is already selected. Press the OK button and you're going to find all of your over the air recordings in this folder here, HB PVR, press OK again. 
And we only have one here, that's the one I just made. And then press OK to view it. And now if you press the hold button on the remote, that will full screen the program for you to watch. That's a look at the core innovations over the air digital converter box with DVR function. Pretty much works like every other digital converter box on the market. Same software, same interface. But for $45, you get a lot of nice features on this one. The recording seems to be stable, no issues there. And one other good feature about this is it's actually available in retail stores, which is nice because not everybody necessarily can or is willing to shop online. So if you're looking for an over-the-air tuner to connect to your TV or to an older CRT television, then you can actually go to a big box retail store and find one of these at a decent price.